Gamer-Goggles.com and today we have another box breaking. This is on Dragonfire's character pack, Heroes of the Wild. Be right back. All right, we're back. And uh, I have to thank Randall and Lauren for letting me do a review on this. Uh, I can't wait to actually use, I did not expect more cards. Um, that's kind of a pleasant surprise. This is, like I said, this is the Heroes of Wild character pack. This was recently released. Uh, they had some copies available at Origins. I think they're just now starting to hit the shelves on retail. So if you like what you see, get down there and do it. If you uh, haven't played Dragonfire, you can check out my Dragonfire playthrough. Uh, I'm going to do something that YouTube probably doesn't want me to do. You only need to watch the first turn to get a feel for the game. I'm going to put another one up that is only one one round of play. There are people that have been watching the entire video. Thank you. Uh, but I am not a fan of my my uh, Dragonfire video the way I think it. It didn't live up to my expectations. I wanted to do more with it. I just don't have the software yet. So, in the future, maybe I'll get Adobe After Effects. So, inside, you get a Characters of the Wild um, book, which basically, let's take a look at this real quick. We'll zoom in on the cover. I think it's the cover. Yeah, that's the cover. It's page one. Uh, it basically has the rules for sorcerer screen here. Uh, and then you have character screens, uh, poison crafting, oh, new feats and things of that nature or uh, items and abilities. Um, and we're just going to, we're going to make this easy and we're going to just start looking at the screens. So we have, let's separate them out. Oh, they're kind of separated out as they are. So this is a fighter, um, it has claws, this is, where's the, ooh, this is tabaxi, or tabaxi, uh, and this is claws, you may play one card as well as any curiosity cards before movement, that's an interesting ability, um, starting health. 1 XP, 10 health, nice. This, ooh. Ooh, we have a Lizard Folk Barbarian. Look at his equipment pack. I like it. I like it a lot. Now we have a Sorcerer. Shield Dwarf Sorcerer. Innate Magic. Uh, market Arcane cards cost plus 1 gold. Yeah. Flexible casting, though. During your turn, play an arcane card from the market with printed gold cost on the number of sorcery points spent flexible casting. Very nice. Holy cow. Some of these are bad to the bone, people. Um, somebody just hit me on Twitter. Uh, we have another barbarian. This is a dragonborn barbarian. Look at the colors. Of course, they made him a red dragon. So fitting. Once per scene during your turn, martial cards deal plus X, where X is the scene number. That's pretty darn good. And he's got a breath weapon. Oh, but this barbarian. This has to be a barbarian. I mean, look at that face. Yeah, human barbarian. Nice. And we have... Oh. I missed a couple of things. We're going to back up here to the sorcerer. Uh, the first sorcerer with the, the shield dwarf uh, has the uh, magic origin slot. Uh, when you first select this character, you must apply a magic origin feature, which can never change. The slot costs zero XP. Uh, and this little lightfoot halfling guy does the same thing. Uh, he has nimbleness though, which choose one encounter attacking you during the first round of a scene. It does no damage. In other words, little dude got out of the way. And we have a Kenku. 
uh, who has mimicry, you may only purchase from the market discard pile. Interesting. And once per game, oh, researcher, that's nothing new. Um, we have a half elf ranger who has versatility, which you add one market slot. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. We have a dwarf ranger, I'm guessing. And we have a kobold wizard. The kobold wizard has grovel, cower, and beg. Once per scene, when facing encounters, play no cards and grovel for mercy. Adjacent players may discard one card and then draw a card. Interesting. Very team oriented. I like it. Uh, once per scene, when another this is pack hunters. Once per scene, when another character attacks an encounter facing you, you may play any number of basic cards as assists against that encounter. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Uh, we have a sorcerer here. Um, he's just human. Nothing super special. We have a half orc barbarian. He has relentless endurance and raging. We have a male human barbarian. We have a sorcerer human. Same stuff. We have a wood elf wizard with keen senses. We have Oops, flipped it over. We have a hobgoblin. Interesting. Um, Ranger with martial training. You may swap one card in your starting hand with a magic weapon card from your deck. Very cool. We have a bard, an Azimir bard. Very cool, too. Um, mission equipment pack. You must add one martial or clerical or uh, divine or one rogue uh, once per character level you may change your mission oh it says protector scourge or fallen I wonder if they changed the did I miss something I must have missed something um, and we have a druid uh, Furbold Druid. I thought they were giants. Oh, it's been that long since I played against those guys. Uh, detect Devotion Magic. And we have an elf, obviously. This is a sun elf. I probably could have guessed that. Uh, who has flexible casting and keen senses and innate magic. We have a Devotion Class Druid. Um, Hunter's Lore. We have another Devotion class here. Oh, no, this is Deception class Rogue. I looked at the green. Thought Devotion. I should have saw the symbol. Uh, he's a Rogue, or she's a Rogue. Furbold. And has Detect Magic. And then we have a... Oops. We have a Cleric, who's a Strongheart Halfling. He is lucky. When you fail a skill check, you may reshuffle your deck and check again. That's neat. Ooh. She's pretty. We have a Azimir Cleric. She has Celestial Hands. Once per game during a short rest, heal another character one hit point. Um, we have a Kobold Rogue. Same abilities as the last Kobold. Uh, we have a Half Elf who's just versatile. And a Dragonborn. Devotion Class, Breath Weapon. Another Dragonborn here. This is a Sorcerer. Oops. I don't know why I do that. Uh, we have a Tiefling. Infernal Legacy 3. Once per scene, upon taking damage, discard Arcane to apply one level of damage to that encounter. That's pretty cool ability. I'm going to say that this guy's a Barbarian. Oh, he's a rogue with a baseball bat, though. I mean, it's a baseball bat. That's like traditional barbarian weapon. We have a human cleric. 
we have a gold dwarf and a dragonborn rogue. A rogue with a breath weapon. Oh. So, real quick, we'll take a look at some of these. Uh, ooh, those are really small. So, because they're so small, we're not going to spend a lot of time on them, but you have things like Woodsman that increases your starting hit points by one. Uh, these are different backgrounds you can apply. Uh, there's... Um, different experience point by things like Savage Bite when Feeding Frenzy is activated. Deal the... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is the martial skill trait there. Um, and then Idle Hands when Cunning Artisan is activated. You both heal and gain one gold. Those are pretty good good abilities. You got Detect Magic, Detect Strong Magic, Advanced Researcher, which is when you return a market card from the discard, you may purchase it immediately. Interesting. Um, Necrotic Shroud, Dark Transformation. There's a whole... There's a there's a bunch of stuff. Who here's one? Here's one that caught my head, my eyeball. Assassin requires the rogue class, of course. Make skill check success. Uh, deal one to an encounter that has not yet attacked. That's pretty cool. Here's war magic requires the. Now let's read one that's 100 XP. Arcane shroud. Requires class of wizard and or war magic. Um, during your turn, deal. Wow. Four arcane among any number of encounters. During your turn. That is so worth 100 XP. Uh, Alright. We're going to move on. We're going to look at new cards here. I mean, we're going to see if any of these are new. I hope they're new. There better be some new, right? So we have a sorcery, which requires the sorcerer class. Um, it's not a basic card. It costs one gold. Uh, requires sorcerer class. You can repack, play at any time to generate sorcery points. Equipment pack only. Um, there's quite a few of those. And then there's shocking grasp. Beautiful spell. Must include sorcerer class. Uh, when an encounter is damaged by shocking grasp, negate any of its text until the end of next turn. <laughs> That's a good way to work stun into the game. I like it. Good job. Uh, must include sorcerer class. Oh, this is arcane. Uh, this is true strike. Another great spell. Classic for D&D. Uh, you may deal level damage from another source to one level normally immune to level damage. Wow, that's only two gold. And then we have Malice. This is a poison, so this requires somebody with the poison apprentice. Um, consume. And I haven't read the poison rules yet, so I'll have to I'll have to look at that later. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's. So basically, it looks like they take a, a check, they take a save, and if they fail. Um, Reduce the next color's level by two and deal four to that encounter. Oh no, success, permanently reduce the next one by two and then, that's pretty good. And we have Feeble. And we have Phantasmal Force, wow, that's an oldie but a goodie. A lot of text, not gonna read it. Save some time. Uh, we have Major Image. I wanna get to some of the other classes. There we go, Ferocity. Four gold. Four gold must include the Barbarian class. Other non-martial cards you played this turn deal plus one. Other non-basic martial cards, my bad, deal plus one to each encounter they damage. Uh, barbarian class, when raging, instead deals plus two. That's solid. We have Hurl, which must include the Barbarian class. A uh, Barbarian class, during your turn, you may move one non-location encounter um, and then it has the assist ability. That's pretty cool. I want to thank them too. I want to thank Catalyst for making little plastic thingies. Well, I spoke too soon.
Where is it? That come off the cards. <laughs> so many times I have problems getting these things off. So, that was Hurl. Now we have uh, a rogue one, or it's called Curiosity. You must play this card during your turn. Damage from Curiosity may only be dealt to rogue levels. You may not discard Curiosity. Interesting. Performance. Uh, it's a basic and... If played with another basic card, duplicate that card's damage. That's solid. Uh, affable, another basic card. Interesting. Tinker. Place a token on revealed market card. When that card is purchased, reduce its cost by number of tokens to a minimum of one. That's pretty good. Uh, we have Grace, more art, we have a Cantrip, we have Glory, more art, kind of goes with the Ranger, right? And then we have more ba or more Deception Basic Stealth Cards. Alright, so inside the Character Pack, you get, I didn't count them, I'm going to guess there's about 30 different characters there. A whole bunch more backgrounds, feats, ability type things. And the extra uh, cards to fill out your deck. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know. Uh, I hope to do another game of Dragonfire here in the very near future. Uh, and maybe we'll get to film a playthrough on that. That all depends on the people that I play with. At the very least... Uh, come and hang out in my roleplay ramblings. Um, this isn't exactly roleplaying, but I will most likely talk about Dragonfire in that show. Thanks, and talk to you later. Like button. Subscribe and hit the bell. Later. Hi, guys. Meet the Nibbles, who's going to go down. <laughs> she just did, decided not to go down my back, so... We'll do this for her so she's comfy. Uh, thanks for watching my video, and I appreciate it. Uh, please, please hit the like button uh, and and share it if you you know know somebody who might be interested. And of course, there's always Twitter and the Facebook thingy. And soon I have a newsletter coming that'll be down there or in the link below. And my kitty cat loves that idea. Uh, so anyway, uh, there was one more thing. There was one more thing. Oh yeah, subscribe. Be a part of my community, our community. Let's make it grow together. See you guys at a con somewhere or a local store. Or if I'm driving through the country, maybe a game club. I don't know. You're not going to go knock down my camera. Bye, guys.